pleasant day to you, Grade 9. I hope you're having a great time. It's me, Sir Randolph N. Cruz of Padre Gregorio Crisostomo Integrated School, your science teacher for today's episode. And today, we will discuss percentage composition. And so at the end of the lesson, you are expected to be able to first, determine the percentage composition given the chemical formula of a compound, and second, cite some applications of percentage composition in daily lives. What can you tell about this image? Yes, this picture tells you about a test score. What else can you see in this image? This image shows the score of a student on a 20-item quiz. The student gets a score of 18 over 20 or 90 percent. It means that the student gets 18 correct answers and two wrong answers. The 90 percent is called the percentage score. If you want to get your percentage score in a test, you simply divide your score over the total test item and multiply it by 100. So in this example, we have 18 divided by 20 times 100 is equal to 90 percent. Now, why do we need to multiply the percentage score by 100? Because percentage would also mean an amount in 100 or by 100. It is often represented by the percent sign. In this lesson, you will know about percentage composition. Similarly, the concept is likely the same as getting a percentage in a test score, like in this example. So now, what is a percentage composition? The percentage composition of a compound gives the percent by mass of each element in the compound. The percent or percentage by mass of each element in the compound can be obtained by dividing the mass of the element in one mole of the compound by the mass of one mole of the compound and multiplying the quotient by 100%. Therefore, the formula for the percent by mass is percent by mass of element is equal to mass of element in the compound divided by the mass of the compound multiplied by 100%. Here are the steps in calculating the percent composition of the elements in a compound. The first step is find the molar mass of the elements in the compound in grams per mole. Second, find the molecular mass of the entire compound. Third, divide the component's molar mass by the entire molecular mass. And fourth, multiply it by 100% to get percent composition. Let us take an example. The compound which is very important to us, the water or H2O. What is the percentage composition of hydrogen and oxygen in water? Here's the solution. H is equal to 2 atoms times 1.01 grams is equal to 2.02 grams per mole. And for oxygen, we have one atom of oxygen in the compound. So 1 times 16 grams is equal to 16 grams per mole. Adding it all is equal to 18.02 grams per mole. Percent of hydrogen is equal to 16 grams divided by 18.02 grams times 100% is equal to 88.79%. And for our percent oxygen, it is equal to 2.02 grams divided by 18.02 grams times 100%, which is equal to 11.21%. Adding it all, it will be 100%. Sample problem. Determine the percentage composition of each of the following compounds. First, calcium nitrate or CaNO32 that is commonly used in fertilizer solutions. And number two, Hexanol or C6H18OH that is used in perfume industry. Here's the solution for number one. For calcium nitrate, we have Ca is equal to one since we only have one atom in the compound of calcium nitrate. So one times its molar mass that we can get from our periodic table which is equal to 40.08 grams per mole. So one times 40.08 is equal to 40.08 grams per mole. For nitrogen, there are two atoms in the compound. So 2 times 14.01 is equal to 28.02 grams per mole. For oxygen, 
we have six atoms in the compound of calcium nitrate. So six times its molar mass equal to 16.0 grams per mole is equal to 96 grams per mole. So adding all the molar masses, it is equal to 164.10 grams per mole. Getting the percentage composition of each element in the compound of calcium nitrate is this. Percent calcium is equal to 40.08 grams divided by the total molar mass is equal to 164.10 grams times 100% is equal to 24.43%. For percent nitrogen, is it is equal to 28.02 grams divided by 164.10 grams times 100%. What is the answer? The answer is 17.07%. And for our percent oxygen, it is equal to 96 0.00 grams divided by 164.10 grams times 100%. The answer is 58.50%. So the sum is equal to 100%. For number 2, hexanol or C6H13OH. The solution is C is equal to 6 times 12.01 grams per mole is equal to 72.06 grams per mole. Hydrogen. 14 times 1.01 grams per mole is equal to 14.14 grams per mole. Oxygen, 1 times 16.00 grams per mole is equal to 16.00 grams per mole. The total is 102.20 grams per mole. So getting the percent composition of each element for percent carbon, it is equal to 72.06 grams divided by 102.20 grams times 100% is equal to 70.51 percent for percent hydrogen it is equal to 14.14 grams divided by 102.20 grams times 100 percent it is equal to 13.84 percent for percent oxygen it is equal to 16 grams divided by 102.20 grams times 100 percent it is equal to 15.66 percent the sum is 100.01%. The discrepancy of the sum of the percentages to 100% is due to the way the percentages were rounded off. Now let's have the applications of percentage composition. Knowledge about percentage composition is useful in choosing the best fertilizer that gives higher amount of nitrogen and potassium in the soil. It will help us to be a wise consumer because it is a good basis of choosing the food product we need to eat based on its content. Whenever you buy t-shirt, it is good to check whether it is 100% cotton or just 75% cotton. In terms of product development, percentage composition will indicate the correct amount of substances needed in order to produce the expected product. For example, if a manufacturing company wants to produce resin, it will not be able to do if it does not know the correct percentage of every component needed to form resin. Thank you for your active participation. I hope you enjoyed learning percentage composition. Again, I am Sir Randolph and Cruz of Padre Gregorio Crisostomo Integrated School. Till our next episode of Deped Hour Teleturoan. God bless and stay safe.